So you're between a hatchet or a kukri, and you don't know which one to get. Let's go dive into the pros and cons of each one. First thing with the hatchet, I'm using a Fisker hatchet here. I like it, and obviously I like both of these items here. Um, this hatchet is gonna be a lot better for, well, more power. You can get way more power. It is very apparent than uh, this one. Now, weight-wise, still a little more, but this is more evenly dispersed with the blade. This one here, it is, I mean, it's more heavy. You can get way more power coming down into it. Um, and your arm won't get as tired, your wrist specifically, chopping with a hatchet. Uh, but this hatchet is good for some kindling, some chopping motion, um, and it's great. I leave actually both of these in my truck uh, for whenever I need it. But um, yeah, if you need more of the chopping motion uh, and doing more of that stuff, this will definitely be a better choice for you. Now, the Kukri is an interesting one, and if you're exploring online which ones you're thinking about, uh, this is our K my K-Bar Kukri. Uh, it's the only one I've owned. My buddy had one, um, different one he's got online. Uh, I like that one as well, but this is pretty standard. This one has more, it's, been, it's a mix between a hatchet and a knife. That's what you, you probably know that already if you're searching online. Um, but this one can do a lot of similar work as this one, as the hatchet, so the Kukri and the hatchet. Um, you can do a lot of similar work. I find I have to do more of you put it on a, you know, and chop it down um, to split things and the hatchet I have to. Hatchet, you basically can pretty much go down. This one you can, but it's easier to, you know, twist. It's a much thinner blade. But the pros of this one is um, it doubles as a knife, really. Uh, like I said, it's a nice long blade, thin, has a little thick end. Uh, but it's between a, it's like a hybrid between a hatchet and a fixed knife. And so if I was to, you know, a survival thing, or if I only had to choose one to go camping, one item, I would just take this. You have a nice solid knife, you can hold it, you get pretty precise in what you want there with it. And if you need to, you can chop bigger items. Um, but if I could bring two items, I'd bring a, you know, a full tang knife and a hatchet as well. Uh, so it really depends on what, you know, you wanna bring, but you can't go wrong with either. Um, and over time, you're gonna save up and get each one you like. This kukri is gonna be more expensive than the Fisker hatchet, uh, but I think, I mean, I like both obviously because I have both. Uh, they both serve a different purpose, but like I said, hybrid between right here, a hatchet and a large knife, and I mean, a good hatchet is always nice to have. So either one is uh, is good depending on what you want. Um, if you're gonna, if you don't have any of them, I would go with the kukri first. Um, depending on what else you have. I think it's a well, it's a good thing to have. It can really cover a lot of bases, but if you start getting more specific to what you need and want to carry, um, this one's much better for just going in the woods, hiking, you just want to go chop some things down versus um, you know, all on camping knife mix right there. So anyway, I hope you liked both of these here. Um, I'll put a link to the description for both of them. Uh, if you found this helpful, you know, purchase them with a link. It's a little kickback, it's an affiliate link. But if not, you just learned something that's great. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Um, and let me know what else you, what questions you have. I hope I can answer them in the comment section below. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And don't forget to vote for Sean Gannon, future president of the United States of America. This is me, signing off.